Hey guys, we're with Toby Wyatt, uh, Team Potsky Pro Staffer. One of the things that he's going to show you today is the first thing you need to do when you cut open a fish and how to care for the eggs and how to cure them right off the water. Toby, what's the best thing to do when you to start that? Well, basically, uh, the fish, uh, this fish has been uh, bled out as soon as we caught it. We uh, ripped the gill and let the fish bleed out. So now I'm going to pull the eggs out. And when you're slicing up the belly here, just be very careful not to slice the eggs. Then you're going to come in right up top here and just cut the eggs loose from the membrane. There's two skeins. Once in a while you'll find a fish that only has one skein, but very, very slim and not very uh, common. Now a lot of people say don't let your eggs touch the water when you're doing this. Is that true or is that just a myth? Yeah, it's a myth. The, uh, most of the fish we caught today, we caught them on uh, borax fire eggs. And we caught them on some eggs I found floating right here. They weren't even our eggs. I found them floating, cured them up, and we caught all our fish on them today. Okay, so now that we have the skins, what's the first thing you want to do? Well, take your bag here and you... Try not to get any water in it. Chris, will you open up that borax fire? Put about a, a quarter to a half of it in there. One more. One more. It's good. Now, with the eggs. ways to prep the eggs. You can but butterfly the skein, or you just kind of cut down the middle, exposing the row, just like that. We're just going to put that in the borax fire, or you can just flat out go right up the middle of the skein, the membrane. See how there's a membrane on the back side of the egg? I'm just going to go right up the middle of that, cut them in half. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Butterflying them, you might save a few more eggs. This way, you might get uh, the cure into the eggs better. Okay, we're going to put them in here. Now, all I'm going to do close it up and gently I'm just going to roll it. Now the borax of fire it has uh, little or none sulfites in it. Zero. No sulfites at all in our borax of fire. But it does have krill. Okay, so it has krill, it has borax and salt and sugar. So really, I just want enough to coat the eggs pretty good. I like to have a little extra in the bag also. Okay, so I'm just rolling them here. You might roll them for a couple minutes gently. Then I'm going to inspect them. Make sure there's enough cure in there. Make sure that the cure is down inside of them nicely. We're going to add just a little bit more. You don't have to worry about burning your eggs. Now, burning your eggs means you turn them hard. And with the fire cure, a little more about that. With the fire cure, you can do it real easy. And tomorrow, when we fish the clear water, I'll show you how to cure the fire cure. The borax fire, you could, you could put these eggs in that whole bottle, and uh, you won't burn them. But there's no reason to use that much. It's just a waste. You want to show people what they look like? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now, I'm going to bring these up. Basically, the eggs are just coated nicely with the borax of fire. See that? Now in a, an hour, the eggs will start to soak up the color. And then in another hour, they'll start to turn color. 
And by tomorrow, they'll start to harden up. We're gonna put a little more boroxifier in there. And tomorrow when we go fishing, I'll show you how to finish prepping these eggs. But for now, we're just gonna let these kinda hang out at room temperature. Room temperature, anything, you know, anything under 70 degrees, you can let them hang out. Anything over 70 degrees, you should probably refrigerate them. The warmer it is, the faster they're gonna cure. If it gets too hot, they'll turn to mush. And the colder it is, the slower they'll cure. So these eggs, we're gonna let them hang out till tomorrow and then we'll finish the process. But for now, we're done. And now we're gonna revisit our steelhead eggs cured in the uh, pink borax of fire. These have been in here 24 hours. We caught these yesterday, threw them right in the, in the cure. Basically, at this point in the curing stage, they're a little wet. But if you look at them, the cure is well absorbed into the egg and they're starting to firm up very nice. At this point, if you're fishing for salmon, you could use these. So I like to fish a little wetter egg for salmon. If you're gonna fish steelhead, I'd go ahead and cut these into bait size, lay them on paper towels, and dry them out. Uh, me, personally, I would probably let these dry another 12 hours before I, uh, before I fished them for steelhead. If I was gonna fish for salmon, I'd dump them out there right now. But that four acts of fire in 24 hours did a real nice job on these steelhead eggs. Now I'll cut these up into bait size, lay them on paper towels, and uh, let them dry overnight, and tomorrow I'll fish these again, and they'll fish perfect. And the, finished, the finished product, I don't have much of them left. We caught so many fish on them today, but you can see these, these ones uh, that have been drying, they're nice and rubbery. Nice and dry. That's what we caught all our fish on today. These eggs here will look just like those in about 12 hours of drying. I, uh, you can use an egg drying rack, but me personally, I like to use paper towels. See how the paper towels are sucking up the juice already? They, uh, paper towels do a real nice job of, uh, of drying out the eggs. And there you have it. Steelhead eggs in pink borax of fire. Unscented.